So 2021 is over, 2022 is here, and I am finally starting back and creating at least this video. And first up, I guess I have to say sorry to all the people that were expecting more videos from me. And um, yeah, that's something that I have to work with myself. And that is actually one of the topics that I want to start out this year or this year with, because YouTube at the same time as it is a incredible opportunity and something that is bringing so much to my life in terms of the creative outlet for one to create these videos and also the monetary incentive that is given by the advertising on the platform as well as the products that have been sent to me over the last two years specifically. All of that is an incredible experience and it is a lot of fun but it also comes with a lot of pressure. The reason why I want to start out with this is because I think that this may be something of interest to other people that are wanting to start something on YouTube or are already doing something but sometimes feel that there's like a wall between yourself and your camera that you don't want to hit the record button again. Now I have this on and off and I also attribute this whole topic to another issue which is hyper focus onto certain subjects but that's for a later point. But the first point is that oftentimes I feel like I have to have a certain level of quality, a certain level of production readiness, and I want to achieve certain standards and a certain level of perfectionism. However, I also know that that's basically impossible to achieve. And to a certain extent, I know that creating more videos just as is would already be incredibly helpful, especially because I am mostly doing information-based videos these days, and those are valuable no matter if they are made with the highest quality microphone, the highest quality camera, and so on and so forth. Now, the problem that I always run into is that I would love to be able to produce even better, even higher quality scripted everything with the perfect dose of information mixed into a video but then I also see other creators on this platform as well as on other platforms who are simply just taking out their phone, filming a quick story, a quick TikTok on there, and that is perfectly fine as well, and sometimes even more so. It is actually desired to have that type of style instead of being something that is highly produced where the background is meticulously designed with all of the necessary pieces but not too much. and all the light and sound and all of those things taken into consideration. Now, where is that perfect balance between the two? And I have no idea, to be honest, but it is something that I'm still trying to figure out, trying to find a balance in those things to actually just step forward more often and continue creating. Now, this also comes into the mix with what I mentioned before, when you start creating for brands or with brands in collaboration. For example, when I get products sent to me so that I make reviews about these products. Of course, there is a valid expectation of the brand that I will actually produce a video. Now, I usually say that if I don't like a product, I will not create a, a video about it because I also don't want to do brand shaming or bashing or stuff like that. However, up to this point, I actually have never done that. Usually the products are good enough so that I want to show them on the channel and there are use cases for all of the products that I have showcased here or reviewed rather. I've never actually gotten money for the production of any of those videos, so that might be an interesting point for you as well. However, what I have done is I accumulated a bunch of products over the last two, three months, which I have not yet reviewed. And so the tally is up to actually get going on those products and bring you those videos. And of course, also give the brands what they were waiting for or what they are waiting for. Now that is something that I personally have in my hands, but the aforementioned desire for perfect performance is also there. So that kind of clashed together, made the whole situation that I now have a whole backlog of videos of products that I have here for showing off on this channel. And I want to still do all of that. And I will do that in the coming days and weeks, but 
maybe that is a little warning for you as a more casual listener or watcher or viewer here on the platform. I will have a lot of those things coming in the next few weeks and I want to get back to a schedule where I am a little more free. And to be honest, maybe even a little less bound by those product reviews and software reviews because I am trying to get to a place where I am not as dependent on that and I would rather want to build toward a persona where maybe there's the occasional review, but on the other hand, I also want to just make more, I don't know, interesting videos about things that are interesting to me, which are different from just simply talking about products, comparing them and showing those off. Now, that might include some types of technical things because I also, as you may know, am a programmer and that is something that I mentioned in the early beginning of this video. I also fell into the trap of hyperfocus and that has everything to do with programming and also other projects that I'm currently involved in. For one, in October, me and Nicole, we were in Marbella and we were filming a yoga course, which is now launched, but we also had to rebuild or reconstruct the whole platform that those courses are built onto. And that is now the Niyama Academy. And you will find a link to that in the description below. However, as I've mentioned before, those things are produced all in German. So this may only be interesting for you if you do understand German. However, on this trip, we also had a huge adventure, which was going up La Concha, which is a mountain near or the mountain near Marbella. And if you want to watch that, you can do that as well in the links in the description below. That has English subtitles. So if you are an English speaker, then you can turn those on. And we actually made sure that those are present. So you can have a look about that. Now, generally, again, October was this whole trip for producing those things. However, that also continued in November and even in early December to get that platform up and running, to edit all of those videos, to make sure that everything has its place to make this premium course available at the right time. And I think it was 1st of December that we launched the course or early there. And then from there on, we still had other things to do as well. Additionally, I also jumped into creating a bit of an app for Nicole and all the things that she's doing. And that might be something that I will also cover more on this platform here with this channel because I find these things really interesting. And it was quite the journey to jump into app development. Now, this is currently an app that is only available for iOS. And again, the app is of course in German and the whole platform is in German. And that has to do with the fact that Nicole's business is focused on the German yoga market. Now, the next step there is to make the app also available on Android and also add other functionalities. And I want to potentially make videos about the process that I went through to actually build this app and how you may be able to do something similar. Building an app right from scratch with just JavaScript, essentially HTML and CSS. It was quite astonishing how much you can achieve with those cross platform compilers nowadays. And so that is something that also occupied my mind and was quite convenient when I didn't have the energy to put myself out here on YouTube to create the next video, but I was able to at least continue working on something that is useful. However, I also feel a certain sense of procrastination in there and a sense that I'm not really good at splitting my days into certain tasks. So let's say I'm really bad at saying, okay, Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to do app development. And then on Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to do video production for YouTube. I'm not really good at that because when something is occupying my mind, then I am really entrenched in that. Another thing that happened recently, and that was over the Christmas holidays, was that I actually made a bunch of Alfred workflows available on GitHub on my repositories there so that you can also install those on your system if you want to and if those might be useful for you. I will link the main repository where I'm linking all of the different workflows in the description down below so you can check it out there. But in general, it's all things about basic functionalities of text transforming to uppercase and lowercase, title case and those kind of things, as well as changing file names, adding certain pieces as a prefix or replacing something in a file name, as well as changing the case of the file name to make a uppercase extension, for example. 
Now with this little recap about October, November, December, let's focus on 2022 and what that has in store. Now first up, as you might notice, this year is not very early in this year because I still was in that whole funk of not being able to put myself here in front of camera. This is really a bit of a struggle and it is not necessarily the easiest thing to get around. And as you might see, I am now finally back in it and I want to continue doing more again. And I even have multiple different exciting things lined up, as I have mentioned already, but also in terms of having the opportunity to film at my other desk, for example, I've started to try that out. And so that's also going to be something that I do here. All of those things, however, don't change the fact that I have a desire for perfection, which is pretty much impossible to get to. And I've mentioned this before, but I wanna talk about this again. Basically, what I sometimes like to do, or what I would like to be able to do, is do more out of the moment, share more out of the moment, create more out of the moment. However, what comes with that is that you will have to become more and more real as to in how you present yourself and what you as the viewer get to see of me, the person that is inside of those videos. And that can be tricky if you have a lot of questions around how do you want to be seen, how do you want to be presented? And the question then becomes, do you even need that or should you need that? Because at the end of the day, it might actually be better to just be who you already are and see how that fares with everybody. Now I have, and I've mentioned this in other videos already, I have certain parts and questions and thoughts that I sometimes feel like um, are not really easy to put onto a platform like this uh, because of the nowadays harsh repercussions that sometimes can be around those things. So that is why I sometimes have difficulties to just be myself in front of camera, try to be more of that. And it also comes in turn with this whole perfectionism thing because being myself also sometimes would mean not being as um, perfectionistic, let's say, and also sometimes taking a little bit more time with certain aspects and making longer videos where others might want to see a shorter one. And that is something that I specifically take from a video that I did a couple of months, maybe one and a half years ago, where basically I took a topic and talked about it for about 20 minutes. And in the comment section, I oftentimes get told that that video could have been way, way shorter. Now, yes, it could have been, and you are free to create a video of yourself, which may be presenting all of those things in a shorter time frame. But to me, it is much more fun to make the videos that I am already making. This is not to say that I'm not taking the feedback and I try to improve over in other videos and maybe the next time or even taking the same topic and creating something that is shorter, more bite-sized in length. Overall though, it is really hard to always know in the back of your head that there is someone on the other side of this screen who might interpret whatever you are doing, saying, or presenting in some kind of way. And as the person creating all of those things, putting them here on this platform completely for free, is it really necessary to adhere to all of the different standards that people put on you? Because, funny enough, on the same video that I just mentioned about that topic where I talked about it in length and people discuss that it should not be as long, there are tons of people that are writing in the comment section that this is a really valuable video for them and it helped them figure out a certain topic. Now again, it is impossible and I know that it is impossible to make everybody happy on this platform with the videos that you create. And with growth and now talking about this YouTube channel, I have or I am reaching over 80,000 people every month with the views and in terms of subscribers, it's over 5,600, something like that of people that have decided actively to press that subscribe button, which is incredible for me and I am super excited about that but at the same time, I still am working on this aspect of how do I reserve myself? How do I keep myself real and authentic in that whole process? And even potentially getting to a point where I am more authentic than I am already 
in terms of the creations that I want to make, how I want to make them, without necessarily taking into consideration all of the other things that everybody in the comment section is saying. Now, as you might be able to see, I am still figuring out a lot of things. This is nowhere near perfect, and I am still on a journey, which is continuing through 2022. However, I also have a ton of goals for this year, which I'm not going to lay out right now. And they are also kind of vague at the moment. I'm still working on hammering out the details of what I want to achieve. But one thing is very clear, YouTube is going to be a big part of this year. And I want that to be this way because it is incredible fun and also presenting tons of opportunities. Additionally, of course, I have the to-dos on the products and softwares that I am testing currently, that I'm still working on, and also the videos that I will be producing about all of those things. I also have a video that I wanna make about my new M1 Max, the laptop that I got a couple of weeks ago, and a follow-up to the Apple Watch video that I did recently, where again, people have complained about the style of video that I made and how I made it, how I presented it, and all of those things. Now, if you have any thoughts about this process, if you are a YouTuber yourself, please let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on these kind of things, how you are handling those things, and of course, also if you would like to know more about this process, and we can talk about that in the comment section down below, as well as on my not Discord server, I shut that down pretty much, but on my Telegram channel and also potentially the Telegram group that I am building because that is the platform where I am present a lot more in comparison to Discord. So that's the reason why that happened. Now, with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm looking forward to connecting with you in this year, throughout this year, with the videos that are planned, as well as the different other avenues of contact with you. Have a good one.